Good morning, Internet. It is Thursday, the 13th of August, 2020, and we are going to tackle one of the New York Times Sudokus. Um, hard Sudokus. Get a lot of noises out the window, so I do apologize. My computer is right next to the window, and um, I can't really change that, unfortunately. So, um, so let's jump right in. I don't think one's gives us anything. Uh, we've got two. Oops, we've got two here because of these twos interacting, and a two over there. And uh, oh no, that's another two. Um, because of these twos and that two, and uh, I've got a triple down here, triple down here, and I guess an upside down mirrored L, L up there. Um, so a pair of threes over here. In fact, that's a free one pair because of the one there. So that is now an eight. Oh, that's looking quite healthy line already. So one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is already a six. Oh, that's look. Oh, that's a one nine pair left. <coughs> so it's not very useful. Uh, let's go back to three. So continuing on, the pointer pair looks across. We've got another pair here. So I'm hoping today's an easy Sudoku. Um, do, 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 do. So I've been looking back at my videos and um, finding that my speech has not really improved. Um, so I'm going to try and enunciate a little bit better. I said, as I said, little, um, little. Yeah. Um, so. <coughs> I am going to continue saying so a lot. I think um, it's not my favorite word. I just say it. Um, I don't think there's anything else left of the four. So for a quick look at five. So I've got another pair of fives up there. Um, five, 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 six, 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 six. I'm hoping the pop filter is going to stop this from too loud. I did notice, um, yeah, six seems to be exhausted already. I did notice the volume was a little bit high yesterday. Well, not the volume, but the sound kind of peaked a little bit. Um, I think I was kind of sitting too close to the mic and um, but forgot to kind of keep my voice calm and kind of quiet like the other day when I basically have my mouth right next to the microphone and um, but eventually I think um, I'll get used to the um, what volume to speak at and what distance I should sit from the microphone um, I'm not really seeing anything else for seven so this is now making me a little bit nervous uh, eight eight so I've got path eight here which yeah, because of this eight locking that cell and this eight. So I forgot another eight there. So that locks an eight over here, giving me another pair of eights. And I think that's the end of eight. So let's look at nines. Nines. I've got a pair of nines here. Oh, I haven't been looking at um, what the weak numbers are, so and I've gone up to nine, so I probably need to do a count in a second. But what I may do, actually, nine is looking pretty weak because um, what well, are two of them? So definitely no numbers at one digit, and uh, I've got two nines, and they don't interact at particularly meaningful ways to give me any clues, additional clues besides uh, a knight's move. Kind of pencil marking. So let's have a quick count. I've got I've only got two ones, so that's another weak number. Twos, I've got quite a few. Threes. Threes weak as well. Oh, that's quite a lot of weak numbers. Four, I've got three of them. Five, I've got three. Six, I've got three. Seven, I've got loads. Eight, I've got loads. So what was it? Um, one, three, and nine. Okay, 
Well, this is where one, three, and nine interacts, but mm, it doesn't look like it's gonna it sees many numbers. Uh, where else do one, three, and nine interact? Well, I suppose here, but not very useful. Oh, this column, see, this row sees one, three, and nine, so there may be something there. So I've got five, seven, and I'm looking for four. Um, I'm also going to try pencil marking in the triples and the pairs that I see because um, so it's seven I'm looking for because I have a I have a feeling it doesn't actually hurt me that much um, if I'm careful. Um, so let's see four seven five because I think if I pencil in the triples, I may be able to. Um, kind of, if I eliminate one of them, then it's more immediately apparent if another number is unlocked along the row or column. Um, the only difficulty is like knowing when something kind of like what the triple, how the triple interacts. Um, so whether it's a triple within the box or in this case on the row. So I need to recognize if I unlock any of these cells. <coughs> That the pencil markings are pointing at a triple horizontally, basically. So, for instance, I've got one nine pair up here. Um, oh, I'm scaring myself a little bit now. That's quite a lot, I think. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go around the board again um, just to see if I get any more numbers. I've got a pair of ones now because it's. Oh, actually, no, I've got another one and another one up there, which knocks out the three so now threes are now locked in there and i've got triple three threes over there so oh <coughs> so one and three no, are no longer weak numbers so nine is now the only weak number <coughs> so let's just carry on and see how we get on one 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 i was hoping that since today's puzzle looks wow i say that yeah i i have a feeling i've been a bit premature in thinking that it's an it's an easy puzzle today but we shall find out but i was, I was kind of thinking if it's an easy puzzle then trying out new tactics may be useful <clears throat> Um, <coughs> do apologize for the coughing, just can't seem to clear my throat for some reason. Uh, twos, then no development on the twos. I've still got threes locked into uh, those cells, so do 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 threes, threes, nope, nothing on threes. So, whilst they're not the weakest number, they're still quite weak. Um, oh, I've got another triple here, so three. Have I got anything? One, two, three. So nine. Nine is the other weak number. Um, not the other weak number, but the other number that's missing. But I've also got sixes. Hmm, that's not useful at all. So I really wish we can color in the New York Times. Because um, at least if I can color them in, I can basically indicate that these are the locked values. They're not just um, basic Snyder notations, but um, let's see how we get on. Uh, so where was I? I was on sixes, I think. Um, and I filled in a three, so that means I need to kind of go around the board up to two again. So six, six is now locked here. Uh, six, six, six. So there's a triple there. Six, seven, seven, seven. That's always annoying when you've got, oh, you've got them like two little pillars here. So that seven basically locks them into four separate columns and um, it's not very useful for us at all. And in fact, they all have seven seeing them. So seven seems to be quite a strong number. So that may be useful later. Six, seven. So I'm looking at sevens. Um, no, can't do anything with sevens. What about eights? 
8. Yeah, I've got a similar situation of 8. So onward to 9. Has anything changed with... Nope, that's still a triple. 999. Nine, nine. <clears throat> Nothing on 9, so let's go back to 1s. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2. So the way I'm doing it now is um, I'm kind of pretending there are no pencil markings at all and just revisit the entire board rather than um, so I think I'm literally using the pencil markings for eliminations um, to avoid con confusing myself with the triples and the pairs that I've put in I reckon we're getting more cars today because um, I had a bit of a lie-in um, I don't have to work today so um, now the traffic is out and about and I'm not next to a main road so just like irregular cars and lorries um, there are warehouses around here so um, right so I'm looking at ones again not getting anything from them so twos still got a triple down there still got a bend reverse L, triple down here. Yeah, this is not great. So let's look at a week number nine to see if we can find any naked digits. Um, <coughs> so this column is looking quite weak and that's locked into a three and six. So why don't we look at this cell because we've got a pointed pair there so we've got, well actually we've got a 1 already, but we've got 1, 2, 3. We don't have a 4, even though we've got a pencil marked 4 in here. It's only a, only part of a triple on the line. <clears throat> 5, oh so it's 4 and 6, isn't it? Because we can't see a 6 either. So I've got a four and six here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pencil mark that. Oh no, that's going to really confuse me now. Now I'm going to think that's a four pencil marked in as, um, yeah, actually, this is going to be dangerous because I'm now going to think this is a pointed pair of sixes. Hmm. Maybe I should use a um, different web app to approach the New York Times puzzle to kind of like demonstrate how useful <clears throat> the um, center versus um, corner markings are. Um, but yeah, now we've just got to keep in mind that these are part of the triple on the rolls. So, right. Mm. So, one, two. So, one, two, three. So it's one, three, four, and six that I'm looking for. One, three, four, and six. Three, four. I can't see the six. So okay. that's a one, six pair. Hang on, I've got six. Maybe there's a one, six, nine, triple there. Nope, there's a nine there. So that's one, six. What about this? That's season nine. Doesn't see a one. Um, could that be a one six pair? One, two, three, four. It doesn't see a five, so that's a five now, so that's no good. Um, so yeah, we're not getting anything out of that, so I guess we'll have to look at these six cells. So one, two, I'm a bit all over the place today, I feel, I feel like. Well, I can't see the three or four there. Uh, similarly, I can't. Now, this is one thing I tend to do. Um, if I can't see, if I get a pair, so three and four, and when I look along the same, in this case, the same row, but it could be the same column, depending on the direction you're looking at, um, I immediately be looking for threes and fours, looking um, in this case up and down. And if I can't see the three and four, then I'll move on. Um, I can see a four there, so that may, that may be a naked three. Um, so one, two, three, four. So that's a three, five pair. Um, this sees a four, but it doesn't see a five 
or three. So that could be, that's still a three, five pair potentially or more. Um, I see a three, but I, I can't see four or five. Um, I can see a four, but I can't see a three or five. So yeah, there's nothing fruit throw over here, but one, two, three. I wonder if I should pencil mark those in, but hmm. What were the strong numbers again? Twos were strong, weren't they? So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five twos. So twos are contender for the strongest number. Seven looks pretty strong as well. One, two, three, four, five. So twos and sevens. So maybe there's some sort of interaction of twos and sevens. So yeah, that's looking promising. So I've got two sets of two sevens locking these these rolls. I've got another one here. Hmm, actually, no. Yeah, I don't have a two seven set in any of these boxes. So what does that mean? Hmm, what about column wise? Two seven, two seven, two seven. So, mm, but they actually interact with all three boxes vertically as well. And yeah, in fact, the two seven, these two two sevens interact with a box um, directly. So I don't think I'm going to be able to find any two seven pairs. Um, the most likely place for two seven pair would be down here somewhere on one of these two rolls. But that sees a two and that sees a seven. Um, that can't be a two seven. Yeah, because normally when I'm looking at them this way, I would have a two seven um, either notated or locked in one of these boxes. Um, leaving me with less cells to deal with on the rolls, but I don't have that situation, so I'm not confident um, two sevens going to lead us anywhere. So, and we've looked at a weak areas. We've even pencil marked them in today. So, <sighs> so in light of the time that I'm taking up. Just gonna delete those pencil marks. Um, oh no, those are fives. So it's the fours that I've taken out. So what I'm doing now is I'm planning on going back to the table, going back to the drawing board and use auto candidate just to yeah i think that's the original board with dow or the triples pencil marked in and and the pairs pencil marked in just gotta blow my nose <coughs> i probably should have recorded this in the in the afternoon when i'm less bunged up but um hey ho um actually that one free pair does it do anything? So two, four. So I'm looking for four, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's quite a lot of numbers. Um, the most likely will be in this column because it sees the weak digit nine, but we've already gone through this column. So there's no way um, nine doesn't see these four squares. So that's at least, these two are at least an eight, nine pair. And, um, and I can't see nines over there. So the most likely is this cell. So one, two, three, I can't see a four. So that's a four, nine pair at least. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna kind of give up a little bit and um, have a look at auto candidates. Uh, so. Right, I can immediately see a pair of fives and nines near the top. So, okay, that's interesting. And they are, they're gonna knock out the fives 
over there, which gives me a five there. So, okay, let's change things up a little bit because um, I'm not in a rush to go to work. Um, can we possibly figure out the five and a nine? That's interesting because nine is a weak number. What about five? In fact, they're naked pairs, so they're not even, yeah, they're not hidden pairs. They're literally naked, so that means these two cells can see all the other digits without even accounting for pointed pairs. There are no pointed pairs pointing at them either. Oh my god, how would I have found that out on just Snyder notation? Because I would have had to look at all the other cells. And they're on a roll with five remaining digits. So <coughs> I don't think I'll ever have looked for those two cells at all. So, hmm, are there any other clever way that I could have spotted that hidden pair, not hidden pair, but that naked pair? Um, I suppose, hmm, it's quite dense over there. There are quite a lot of digits in this box. I think these are the ones that I quite like to see Mark and Simon solve on them, um, cracking the cryptic. Um, I'm sure they'll probably solve it in a different way, like looking, probably like using the bent triples and stuff like that to kind of lock cells in. But with this, I, I just don't know. Hmm. Yeah, so if you have a better idea of, um, if you have an idea of how you would have spotted this pair using just Snyder notation, I really appreciate a comment below. Um, I know not many people are seeing these videos, but yeah, that's, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm a bit stumped by that. Um, so, again, in light of time, and not my time, but your time, um, I'm going to use these to take out the pencil markings for the fives and the nines on this roll. So that gives us a three, four, six triple and a five, nine pair. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the five and nine there, which knocks out the five. And I'm going to see if that does anything. So um, I've got five there and a one here which, oops, what the hell, which locks the one down here. And these are now a pair of ones. And that also resolves, oh yeah, of course, that resolves the nine one pair that I had early on. Uh, so now nine is locked in here. It's no longer as weak a number. So that can't be nine anymore. It has to be a five. And that's got to be the nine, which means nine is here, knocking out this nine. So I've got a pair of nines, I've got a pair of nines. So I've used up the five nine pair already. Um, so yeah, let's see if I go around the board again, um, if we're gonna get a solve now. So twos, No changes on twos really, so threes. Threes are now locked down here. Um, nothing else on threes that I can see. Fours. Four, four. So I've got points of. Oh, so that's a three, four pair, which means that's now a six. So that's a six. Four and one. So that's got to be an eight, which means eight and two are resolved giving me a five here, which doesn't do anything else, unfortunately. So, okay. <coughs> <coughs> so I've got one free pair here on this column, but I see a one, so that, uh oh, what's going on? Oh no, hold on. Ah, so yeah. I was hasty in thinking that that's automatically a one free pair because I hadn't actually cleaned up the pencil markings. So that's actually an eight, 
which points over here to another set of eights. So now I've got a triple of three, two, three, and five. So fives are over there. Um, let's limit the pencil marking that we do because there are still three. There's still three possibilities over there. What about here? <coughs> <coughs> So I'm looking for three, four, three, four, and six. Um, no, that's no use actually. Let me resume just looking at all the pencil markings. So four, five, um, six. I think tomorrow I'm going to, even though I haven't got work tomorrow, I'm going to get up early and... Um, start recording early on just to hopefully reduce the noises in the background <coughs> hmm interesting i've just gone through a whole cycle and i've not made any more discoveries so so ones again nope nothing on ones twos twos are locked in triples in three places in three columns that's quite annoying threes three three is still locked in there triple here and could be anywhere on this four yeah i'm pretty sure i've done that so let's see that's a four five and seven triple isn't it um and i can see a five but nothing else Seven doesn't interact in any meaningful way. What was this again? Three, seven, and no, three, nine, and six. Yes, the sixes are still giving me problems. That's interesting. Five, seven, and that was a four, wasn't it? Oh boy. Sevens. What am I missing? Okay, fine. That's pencil marking the threes and the twos. Oh, I've got three, five, seven, triple up here, but then no resolutions at all because these can all be sevens and fives. Oh, I'm not going to have to use auto candidate twice, am I? I really hope not. Um, so let's look at all the rows and columns. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So four seems to be quite a weak number at the moment. So let's focus on the fours. So there's a four here. And I've already, oh, hang on, there's another four. So what about here? Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna focus on, no, let's look at this, this column first. So I can see one, I can't see a three or two. I can see a three here. So one, three, four, five, I can't see a six. So that's two and a six. And seven. Man, that's really frustrating. One, two, three, and six. So one, three. Yeah. Hmm. Do, 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 do. So what else am I missing? I guess today is actually quite a hard puzzle. Well, maybe not conventionally hard because um, I just can't couldn't spot the five and nine but I know for a fact yeah if I turn on auto candidate mode it's just gonna solve itself probably okay so there are no naked digits left but I know there's got to be pairs or triples and I can see it now I've got three four and seven over here could I have spotted that Not with my current abilities, because again, this column is quite barren. So it seems like all the pairs and triples are hi hidden in kind of like really sparse rows and columns where I wouldn't be looking for digits. So three, four, seven, which means that can't be three or four, that can't be a four, that can't be a three, 
can't be a seven here either. So actually we've got to make it six. So if that's a six, that resolves these numbers. And I've got a pair of sixes over there. And, and the eight, the eight resolves that eight, nine and three. And this nine resolves the nine over there. <clears throat> so all the one, eight and ninth are done. I'm really sorry, guys. Today I just, I don't know if I'm just being dumb today, but um, this is definitely not a satisfying solve in any meaningful way at all, because, um, yeah, I just, I've had to use older candidate twice to find the pairs and the triples and it kind of takes the fun out of it. Um, I prefer to look for patterns, but at a quick glance, I just, I'm going to go back to this and see if I can, um, if I can find an interesting pattern, then I'll probably make an, kind of like, um, an end, um, not end credits, but another clip at the end just to see how, how I've done that. But if not, then I'll just do um, do the normal outro, I suppose. So, right, let's finish this up. So two, three, and five. So I can see two and three. So that's got to be a five, which means that's a five. Um, this is a two, and it's a two, three pair. So that's two and three. So that can't be three anymore. So that leaves me with twos and twos and sevens unresolved yet. So pencil mark them in anyway. So two and seven over here. Um, so two, seven and two, three and seven over here. So I can see a two there. So that's a three, seven, but I can't see any of the three digits. So two, three and seven, we're looking for four and four and seven. Yep. Four and seven, four and seven. So there we go. So that's a four or seven. Um, in fact, it can also be two or seven. So, but it sees a four. So that seven is locked, which means the four has to go here and five there. This is a two, which means that's two, three and seven, four and seven, which means that's four and that's three. And finally, that's a seven. Wow. That was a doozy. Um, I'm sure, in fact, if I reset the puzzle, let's see how difficult it is with just um, auto candidates mode. So I can see an eight here. Um, so there's a six here. I know this, this is kind of like not something I would do in general. I can see a one, three, one, two, three, triple there. <clears throat> oh, and this is what I mean is like when, by why I don't do, um, what you call it? I don't do all pencil markings because um, you're just a bit overwhelmed by the sheer volume of numbers um, and you lose a bit of discipline in terms of um, finding digits. So twos, uh, there's two up there, two, 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 two. So does that change anything? Not yet. Three. So I'm doing this just to see how hard this puzzle would have felt um, if someone has done it with um, auto candidates on. So fours, four, four. So fours are locked up there. Four. But I'm not accustomed to doing it this way. So this is actually quite confusing for me. Uh, fives, fives. I'm finding it quite hard to see the numbers. Um, sixes, six. Mind you, it's not super easy just yet. So six, seven, seven. So locked in those two cells. Sevens. Oh, there's a, there's a seven. I might as well use normal actually. Normal candidates. So seven, eight, eight, eight. So eight down here. Two, 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 eight, nine. No, hold on. I've done all the eights. Yes, I have. So nines. Um, I guess it's still fairly hard on auto candidates. 
Um, yeah, because the five nine pair hasn't been uncovered yet, so I'm obviously missing something. Um, one, one, two, 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 two. Maybe I'm just a bit crap at using um, auto candidates to solve at the early stages. Three. I may have to test my friend um, and ask her how quickly she was able to solve this because um, she can solve much faster than me when using auto candidate modes. And um, but I think we look at the board quite differently, and the way she looks at it actually makes it. It's actually kind of like optimized for also candidate modes. Six. Um, yeah. So I'm stuck now on auto candidate mode. I'm actually stuck. I can't see anything else. Seven. Oh, here we go. So, se oh no. Yeah, because with less pencil markings, I actually find it. I, I'm sure I got further because, yeah, I must have placed a one at some point. So, where would I have placed a one? Wouldn't have been in this in this box because um, I was left with a one nine pair, so it must be over on these in these sections. So let's clean up the board a little bit. What did I do? Um, <laughs> this is so weird. Auto candidate mode is just so weird. One. Two. In fact, I think I'm going to record the outro now because um, I think I'm just wasting a lot of time. Um, I feel like I'm waiting, wasting everybody's time by trying to do this. So many apologies. Um, yeah, I'm just. I'm just zoned out now because they're just so many numbers. I don't know what to do with them. So let's go back to the drawing. Oops. Let's see. So ones, what are ones locked into? So I've got ones and three. So threes are down here. Two, 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 two. triple, triple. It must be something to do with the ones, but I don't remember what I did. Three, so three are locked in those two cells. Three, three, four, four are locked in there. Four, five, fives are locked in there and there. Five, five, six, 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 six locked in there. Sevens, seven, 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 eight. This is so bizarre. Because I'm getting, like, I'm getting less far with um, with auto candidate mode. I don't understand it. Okay, there's a pair of eights there. Which, right? Okay, so that's why I was missing the eights. So this, uh, let's see, these two eights. Yeah. So I've got a pointer pair of eights, but I didn't see it because the board is just so cluttered. So that gives me an eight here and a one. So what else does it give me? It doesn't give me anything else within the those squares, but that one must have done something because it takes a one out. And now we have the five, five, nine pair. Here we go. So that will allow me to eliminate those figures, those numbers, um, the five and the nines over there. So five. So now that gives me a five and what next? So five, five, five and a diagonal. Oh my God, I'm stuck again, I think. Oh yes. So that also gives me a one, which resolves the one nine pair. And now the five and the nine, and a two and the eight, 
five and three. Yeah, that feels way faster than earlier. So nine, three and one, so eight and nine. And this is what I mean, like, the problem with um, auto candidate is just, just a lot of the time you just feel like you're doing whack-a-mole. You're just like finding the naked digits and whacking it. So, so I've got three, four and seven. So in theory, I could have spotted a six sooner. And by taking out a six, um, I give myself a nine here because of the three, remembering the three, four, seven. So that's an eight now, and that's a one. So now that gives me, gives me a naked six and a three and a four there, five, three, seven, nine, two, oops, seven, nine, two, four, six, two, three, five, seven, three, oh, seven, in fact, I'm just going to change the normal, two, eight, six, and four, and seven, and four, and three, four, five, seven, and nine. So that just, yeah, that just takes the fun out of it, but, um, so yeah, I'm just going to go back to looking at um, where I got stuck before and see if I can find any, um, yeah, find any patterns. Um, and also, um, thinking about it, I should probably have just had a go first. And um, since I had the time today to kind of like show, like take out a bit where I was getting stuck on and... Um, make a shorter video basically but um apologies for that um gonna move on to medium now and um but i hope i don't know i hope it's been fun watching me suffer at least um being stuck on this puzzle um like and subscribe <laughs> bye